Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You know, today's video I will explain you how you can access your Microsoft certification even after the leaving your company. So friends, many professional book their exam using the company account and later the facing the issue, facing the difficulty for the accessing their certificate. So don't worry about that. In the today's video, I will explain you complete guide how you can access our Microsoft certification after the leaving your organization. So make sure that you can watch this video till the end. End of the video, I will also share with the solution for the retrieving your certification if you lost the access on the company account. So if you find this video helpful, then please like this video and also share this video with your friends. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel for the more update on the Microsoft certification. So without further delay, let's start the session. So many professional uh, face this issue whenever they are changing their job, especially if the certification where the book is in the company email account. So friends, many company will provide the discount and some offers on the company email account. So if you completed uh, the certification using the company email account and if you uh, left the organization and after that if you try to access those certification, then it is very difficult and it will be time consuming process. So in, don't worry about that. In this video, I will explain you the three simple step that will uh, after the leaving your company still you will uh, retrieve your certification friend before the moving forward so we will check the some common issues and fixes that i will cover in this session so basically first issue is that company email id disable so friends whenever you left your current company then your mail id will be disabled by the company and if you schedule your uh, if you completed your certification on using the company email id it is a very difficult to retrieve them so in this video i will explain the linking process how you can link your company uh, company microsoft id to the personal your uh, microsoft id then second with the certification not visible so sometime some uh, user will be facing this issue so that time we can raise the support ticket with the microsoft team and i will explain how we can raise the request to the microsoft team then third one is a forgot login ID. So sometimes you will, if you forgot your login ID for the whatever the certification you have completed, so that time you can see uh, raising the request. Then third one, some user asked me that how can transfer my budget uh, and certificate into the another account. So that will also I will cover in the session. And uh, most important, link your company work account to the your personal Microsoft account for the 50% discount in a examination. So I already created this video and I will cover the, some part of this video in this session. Friends, I have already created one video uh, how to link uh, your company work account with your personal Microsoft account for the discount in a Microsoft exam certification. So in this video, uh, I have received a lot of uh, the comments from the my viewers. So first of all, I will thank you all my viewers for your valuable feedback and it will be really motivate for me. So some user asked me the some uh, their queries. The I have done Microsoft certification on my company profile and I did not link with personal account. I left the company in the last month. Now I want to retrieve my Microsoft learning journey on my personal Gmail account. I am not able to figure out where I can contact the Microsoft team for the same. Uh, and some comments uh, are received like the uh, company since my company will be deleted or wipe my entire Microsoft 365 account after I leave the company. Uh, if I link my, my, my company email address to the my personal Microsoft Learn account, uh, when the company uh, account will be get deleted it will be affected my credential in my personal account or not so and third comment uh, it will be received for that can we access our end certificate from the personal account personal gmail account uh, for the organization or not so i will definitely provide the all the solution end of the video please how you can access your microsoft certification even if you left from your company and if you apply those three simple steps that i will explain you so if you apply those settings then definitely your certification will be secure with your personal microsoft account and whenever you require that time you can access your microsoft certification easily so step number one login with microsoft uh, certification profile so basically for that you can ready with your microsoft certification dashboard uh, first one is your company Microsoft account ID and second is the personal Microsoft account ID. So these two uh, ID we can require. Then after that you can sign in using the same account that you use for the 
your examination so for example if you if your company created microsoft account like your name at the rate company.com then you can use the same account for your company id login then if you use your personal account like the microsoft outlook or the gmail you can use the same account for your linking process then uh, the problem statement is that after the leaving the company your uh, company email id may be stop working that's why you must link your certification profile to your personal microsoft account so this is a reason we can uh, link your certification with the your personal microsoft id so i will show you how we can access the basically i have done my power bi data analytical this certification using the company my, uh, microsoft id and i will secure with uh, it my personal microsoft account so step number 2 link company certification profile to the personal microsoft account id so for that you can go to the microsoft certification dashboard go to the company for that you can use the company microsoft id so after that you can uh, once the login you can open the company certification dashboard after that you can go to the profile setting after that go to the account linking so after that you can add your personal account for example if you are using the outlook or the gmail with the microsoft then you can for example if you the if the examination was given using using the john@company.com this is the id and you can add your personal id like the john one to three other outlook.com or the gmail.com so you can use that one after that you can verify the ownership via the otp uh, into the email id and after that you can uh, you can just check that key after the linking this process you will receive the your profile has been successfully merged so this message will be showing in a green tick mark so i will show you how you can complete the linking process so first of all for that you can log in with your company account so whatever the company given the environment you can log in with that one so first of all for that you can go to the web browser and type there learn.microsoft.com so this is the learn uh, platform provided by the microsoft once you click on that you will redirect to the learn platform this is a dashboard in a right side you can sign in so you can click on the sign in after that you can select the company microsoft account if you given the certification in the company account id after that once the sign in completed then this is the your dashboard so just you can go to the you can check the dashboard detail and after that you can go to the right side there is a profile icon click on that and after that you can click on the profile this uh, option so once you click on the profile then this is your profile dashboard will be open so you can just scroll down and there is a one option is the credential so you can click on the credential so once you click on the credential there is a two tab it will be open first is the apply skill second is the certification so you can click on the certification so whatever the certification i have completed using the company id it will be showing here so out of that there is a microsoft certification using the power bi data analytical so i want this uh, certification secure with my personal microsoft id so for that we can link your company microsoft id to the personal microsoft id so for that you can go to the profile click on the setting so once you click on the setting then you will uh, redirect to the another one page so you can click on the login uh, login account management so once you click on the login account management so some uh, information is there so in this information you can read all the information so basically this information saying that you can uh, add your personal microsoft id along with your company id so you can check this is my company id like the xyz at red company.com and along with that i will add my personal microsoft id so below is the add login account this is a plus and you can click on that and after that this is a login window for the your microsoft id so you can put your personal microsoft id so whatever the id or the email id you have used so get the code to the sign in so this is the authentication process click on the send code so once you click on the send code you will, you will receive the six digit otp and for the verification process so once that you can just type uh, there the six digit otp and complete the authentication process so once you complete uh, the authentication process then you will retry to the same page and now this time if you scroll down then you can check along with your company uh, microsoft id your personal microsoft id has been successfully added and you can show the message like the your profile has been successfully merged so this way we can just uh, we have the completed successfully for the merging your company microsoft id to the personal microsoft id so this is the process we have completed in the first part now we will verify the next process
we have successfully link company Microsoft ID to the personal Microsoft ID. In the now step number three, verify the link or the merge profile certification on the personal Microsoft ID. So friends, whatever the changes we have completed in a last link, then we will verify in this step. So friends, for that, once you are logging into the personal Microsoft certification dashboard, after that, you can go to the profile setting and go to the profile. Once you uh, go there, then you can check the work, whatever the certification you have the with link with our company Microsoft uh, ID that will be reflected here or not. And secondly, we can go to the profile setting. After that, you can go to the account linking and then we can check there is a company Microsoft ID will be linking or not. And after that, we will cross check the certification link company account or not. And after that, finally, you can scroll down and check there. There is a message it will be showing or not like the, your profile has successfully merged. So this is the green message will be showing once the process will be completed. So friends, now I will uh, show you how you can verify the detail. So for that, you can log in with your personal Microsoft ID and after that, you can go to the web browser and type there learn.microsoft.com. So this is a learning platform and we will uh, same process will be follow in a step number one. So after that, you can go to the sign in. So once you click on the sign in, you can provide your personal Microsoft ID. You can uh, log in with the pin or the password. So once uh, the login will be processed, then you will redirect to the learn dot microsoft.com this is the dashboard so this is the dashboard for your personal microsoft id so you can click on the your profile icon and after that you can click on the profile so once you click on the profile it will be show your profile dashboard so you can scroll down and you can check the there is a credential option you can click on the credential once you click on the credential then it will be showing the two of two tab so first one is the skill and certification so friends now you can check Whatever the certification I have completed using the company Microsoft ID, now it will be appear here like the Microsoft Certified Power BI Data Associate, Analytical Associate. Uh, then you can check the uh, AI fundamentals. So this is one. And whatever the existing certification that already showing here. So this way we can verify the detail. And after that, you can go to the top and click on the profiles. Uh, then you can click on the setting. So now we will uh, check the whatever the link will be completed or not. After that, you can click on the login account management. So now you can check along with my personal Microsoft ID. Now uh, the my company Microsoft ID, it will be appear here and below you can check uh, your profile uh, has been successfully merged. So this is the uh, message will be showing and this way we can now successfully company Microsoft ID has been successfully merged with, with your personal Microsoft ID. And now even if you live from your company, then you can access this all the Microsoft credential using the personal Microsoft ID. So there is a second method you can also you can use. So same process for your personal Microsoft ID to the company Microsoft ID linking. So for that you can type your company Microsoft ID and after that you can verify with your OTP or whatever the, the authentication method is available. So many company will not uh, allow for the restriction on the outside the access your company ID. So you can check accordingly. We'll uh, share you some important tips that will also really helpful for you. So first tip is that merge multiple certification ID like the MC ID if needed. So friends, sometimes you, if you are the, using the multiple uh, the Microsoft ID like the company versus the personal, that time what happened your certification may be split. So that time you can contact with Microsoft certification support and uh, for that you can select the Microsoft exam support request we need to raise the request and for that we need to provide the detail like full name as per the your examination after that examination ID certification ID like the MC ID or after that company uh, account email and personal email so this information will be required for the raising the request for the your merge for the certification so ask the merge certification into the, your personal account so it will be required the two to five working day uh, your certification will be appear under the one account so for that you can use the below link this link i will provide in a description box so friends if you need the raise the request then you can use this link and this link i will provide in a description box you can definitely visit this link once you click on this link you will redirect to the this page and in this page you can raise your request Tip number two, download and share your certificate. So friends, if you have done any kind of certification like from using using your company Microsoft ID or the if you have done certificate in a personal Microsoft ID. So it is a very important to download and share those certificate. So for that, you can go to the certificate a dashboard after that you can click on the certification and select the certification that you required for the download or the share. So after that, you can download the in a PDF copy and you can secure this PDF copy with your the local disk. 
after that you can also share this all the certification with your linkedin id using the share option uh, download and share for that you can go to the learn.microsoft.com this is the website you can click on your profile icon and then you can click on the profile so once you click on the profile then you can scroll down so uh, there is a credential option so you can click on the credential so once you click click on the credential there is a two tab one is the applied skill and second is the certification so you can select the certification and click on the view certification detail once you click on that you can check there is a you know top side there is a print option you can simply click on the print option and you can uh, save the print in your local disk so once you save this, this one after that uh, there is a share option also available so you can click on share and after that you can select the linkedin so you can share the certification detail on your linkedin profile or whatever the uh, option available now we will check the problem statement so one of my viewer asked me this like the i have done microsoft certification on my company profile i did not link it with my personal account i left the company in a last month now i want to retry my microsoft learning journey on my G personal gmail account i am not able to figure out from where to connect uh, contact with microsoft team for the same so friend if you are the facing same issue then definitely i will guide you for that and friends in this case you can check the certification not linked with person account and the if you are the left from the your current company and now if you want to uh, retrieve your microsoft learning journey from the your into your personal gmail account then it is very difficult to retrieve but uh, either there is a one solution is that so for that for the recover your microsoft account Uh, certification then you can follow some step step for the recover microsoft learning journey so for that you can step number 1 uh, contact microsoft certification support so for that you can visit the this link and this link i will provide in a description box you can definitely visit that one so there is a, you can choose the option like the certification profile merge or the transfer or the account recovery or the as per the appropriate option you can select after that you can submit the sub, submit the support request explaining the situation clearly like you can mention that you have the left from your company and and wish to link your certification to your personal account so for that we, we need to prepare some document like you can prepare for, for the detail like your full name as per the appear on the certification and after that you can prepare for the email id both your old company email id and as well as your current gmail uh, microsoft account certification or the mc id then you can know the any certification like or email related to exam as a proof then you can definitely attach those uh, the whatever the your the attachment then after that uh, yeah, basically it will be taking some long time so after that you can log in with uh, learn.microsoft.com uh, sign in with your your gmail like if you have the created new one you can log in with that gmail account so when the microsoft team verify your identity and request they schedule the merge or the transfer your learning history uh, and certification into your personal account so friends you can follow this step definitely you will uh, retrieve your certification but friends uh, my uh, request is that you can simply follow three step and if you follow this three, three simple step and if you link your company profile to the your personal account then definitely your uh, your whatever the certification it will be secure with your personal microsoft account id so you can follow this three simple step and friends if you want uh, i will create uh, the uh, the detailed video on this topic you can mention in a comment box so thank you friends for the watching this video if you have the any query any question you can mention in a comment box also if you find this video helpful then please like this video also share this video with your friends and also if you are the new to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel also hit the bell icon for the new update on the microsoft certification so thank you and wish you happy learning